Ginny from Homestead Corner and we are back in the kitchen today and I am going to make some super yummy slow cooker pork chops. So I've got my pork chops out and thawed from the freezer and we're going to start off by making um, a dry rub for the pork chops. And you're just going to need a few basic ingredients, um, spices that you have in the house, some salt, paprika, chili powder, some garlic, onion powder, um, oregano, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. So let's go ahead and get okay, started. So we are going to start off with um, one tablespoon of salt. This is really a simple mixture. It's not difficult at all. So we got a tablespoon of salt. And we're going to add whoa, a tablespoon of paprika. And that in there. And a tablespoon of chili powder. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder. A teaspoon of onion powder. A little bit more. A teaspoon of black pepper. teaspoon of oregano and we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Let's give it a little zap. Just about a quarter teaspoon. We don't want it too hot. All right, and then we're just going to mix this together and we will have a beautiful dry rub for pork. Okay, so we've got our dry rub all mixed and you want it to just be nice and even. And we, I've got my pork here and I'm just going to pat this dry so this sticks real good to it. Just a quick pat dry so it's not too soggy. You want the rub to stick good. And we're just going to put some right over the top. And this will do about two pounds of pork chops or pork steak. Uh, these are pork steaks. And you're just going to rub these in and you want to cover this. It be nice and even on there. Get it all over the place. Get that flavor everywhere. And we're going to flip it over and we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Just give it a little scoop. And again, we're just going to spread this out so it's nice and even. Uh, cover those pork chops. And I have preheated my crock pot on high. I've got it all warmed up so it will cook a little bit quicker. Because I'm running late as usual. I'm always running late. But these are so tasty and moist. Uh, the slow cooker really makes these nice and moist. <clears throat> so we're going to put these right in here, right into our slow cooker. And we're going to keep going and get the other two done. Get okay, them so we're just going to layer our last two uh, 
pork chopsticks, whatever you want to call them, into our crock pot. And I've got about a teaspoon left of this dry rub, so I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top. We don't want to waste any flavor here. We want it all. This is perfect for keto, uh, low sugar diets, anything like that. You've got a lot of protein here and there's only herbs and spices, no sugars or anything like that. So this is perfect for that and it's got plenty of fat in here that you don't need to add any liquid to this. So this is going to make its own liquid and you don't need to add anything else to this. We're just going to set it on high and let her go for four to six hours. Okay, so these have been cooking for about five hours and they are perfectly done. And you can see there's plenty of juice in there and we're gonna pull one of these babies out. Mmm, oh this smells so, so good. Okay, they are, let's check them. Give them a little checky poo. Cut right into this big piece of meat here. They are perfectly done and nice and juicy. Mmm. Oh, and they smell so good. Mmm. 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 Slow cooker pork chops. Easy as can be. And ready when dinner when it's dinner time. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.